Uh, we've covered this one many times. You guys know this. Uh, you guys are, are just stagnant at, at this resistance level uh, right there. Um, even, I mean, you can pull this thing down to here, but I think that's, it, it's making its way. It, 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 this is its third time going to be a charm, fourth time, fifth time it's going to be a charm. It de definitely could be. So we're going to be watching for this 0 to zero, zero to break. If that breaks, man, it, this really could start popping up higher. Uh, but you're already up 44% today. Uh, you guys that that follow our videos, the, the everybody that shares these videos, uh, VDRM, I know that this one's been shared everywhere. You guys, I, I truly, truly salute to you and appreciate it uh, for the support. I, I really do. Um, as many of you guys know, I, I know that this is one that we've covered many times uh, back here. I said on alert has room to run still. And as soon as we put it on alert, it took off. So this big move started right when we originally put this one on alert. Uh, so if you're watching these videos, hey, you were able to watch this thing pretty accurately over the last six times. This is going to be the seventh time we've done a video. Um, and then let's see what happened. I want to go back to around the 30th. What did we say uh, right around this level? Um, okay, at 18, I said on hold, really overbought RSI 91 uh, outside upper boundary ba band that was right here, right here on this day. And guess what? It just pulled down. So not only do we tell you, hey, look, this thing's setting up, it took off. But then again, we covered it right there and said it's getting ready to reset and it pulled down. Okay, right now, it, it, it really comes down to that buying pressure. RSI is at 74. You still have plenty of room to go. You guys are pushing back that. But let's take a look at the last time we looked, uh, looked at the chart, which was on the 3rd. Okay, so that was going to be on Friday. I said, watch, if 0090 needs to close around 0095. All right, to give you a better idea, 0090, where were we at? Where were we at? Down here. We were way down there. Look at that. So when we cover this, wow, when we cover this one live, you were right there at that red line. And then I said on there, this is, you can go back and check the videos here. What I said on this is that you needed a close above the 0095 and buying to pick up. What happened? That buying picked up and you got past that level that I said that you needed to hit, uh, get past. And then you closed at 0138. So I said that it needed to close around 0095 and buying to pick up for a bounce off the 20 day simple moving average. That was awesome, Joe, because that, it played out exactly how I said it needed to for that day in live time when we were looking at this. Now the chart's completely bullish. You guys get past this area that you're hitting. Um, right now, the resistance level is at 0, 0, 0199, and you are past that. You guys are past that. This thing could really, really take off from here. I think that you're going to have a few more solid days of trading. Honestly, if the buying pressure continues where it's at, you're going to have a few more solid days as long as it avoids the gaps. And let me add this into here. And a shout out again to everybody that's been joining these videos and we're able to watch these videos as we, as we do them because this one was probably called, obviously called accurate seven times in a row. Yeah, so there hasn't been any recent updates since the last time we went over it. And the, that latest press release, I'm guessing, you know, played a major part of what's going on today. It was uh, via Derma incorporated targets online sales, wound care centers, and distribution companies for its Vibolicillin product launch. The first Vibolicillin order set for Q2 2017. Also, onychromosis clinical studies show significant results. So, I mean, I, I don't know how to pronounce that word because it's obviously, you know, there's, but um, whatever it is, what they said, the, they, they basically talked about the results that they are having right now in regards to uh, the studies on that onychromosis, but they stated that it had an 80%. The results were very encouraging with an approximate 80% success rate, said Dr. Otico. So uh, that whatever this onychromosis or chromocosis, or whatever it is, it affects 5% of the world population. One of the more popular medications on the market has a 17% success rate and could cost as much as $500 per 4 ml bottle. Americans currently spend about $1.26 annually on oral and topical prescriptions for nail fungus, 
according to the IMS Healthcare Information Company. So industry analysts and executives estimate that more effective treatments could expand the market to as much as $3 billion annually. So, I mean, that right there, if it's got the 80% success rate, I don't know what's going on. Regards to, it says, I believe these orders will, oh, that's the other product. There's just a lot going on with the company. And I, I mean, obviously people want to find companies that are like, you know, down at the bottom with that potential of going places. So, I mean, it really comes down to you doing your research, seeing like how legit everything is with them. They're, they're pink current and obviously they're moving right now. Okay, so that is VDRM. Uh, like Joe said, we, we've went over this one so many times. Uh, definitely encourage you to go back and check out those uh, recent videos. Uh, probably a lot more due diligence inside those that can kind of get you started, whatever the case might be. But remember, VDRM, time and sales, company profile, recent news, filings, financials, message board, everything is 100% free over here on investorshangout.com. Why pay others? when you can get all this for free, especially unlimited posts and messages from user to user, time and sales, everything again is free. Uh, recapping one more time, 0215 was where we looked at it. Watch, it, it's now past the major resistance at uh, 0201. Can still keep going as long as buying continues, large support at 0146. Again, really, uh, the chart's bullish. I'm gonna add that in here so you guys, I, I can, uh, Put that in here chart is set up and basically right now you know this is where i really come off of this stuff basically on these charts again that is investorshangout.com i encourage you guys to subscribe get get out there share, share this video with all other investors that you know and check back at investorshangout.com forward slash live where you can request all the tickers that we cover Again, that is vdrm investorshangout.com